What else do you think you will gain? If you have worked hard as a Christian, your vigils, your prayers, your seed, your time, everything you have done, you discover that all of these things enter into heaven is approved of God. But the owner of the work have nowhere to be found. What shall he profit a man? If he gain the whole heaven and he loses the heaven. Our faces look so radiant this morning. But is our heart radiant to that way? I don't just want to, to hear this hymn or you sing it. Just Listen to the melody there. That is not what I want. I want you to read it word for word. Yoruba, that let's say where I came from. For the benefit of people watching throughout the world, and you are not from this part of the country. That the banana or the plantain is getting rotten. And we are saying is getting right. I want you to open your heart to God this morning or night in your country or afternoon in Indian. Anywhere you are I want you to sing this song from your heart. We're supposed to have grown beyond coming to church without adding values to ourselves spiritually. A lot of us want to get closer to church but not to God. We want to be closer to pastor but not the God of pastor. Everything we look all around us is our can I look so radiant and pleasant when I use the makeup, I use the mascara, I cut my hair, I look so beautiful. But nothing else. Even my heart, when you leave this place today and you are told that as you are living, you have only one chance. Sell all your clothes. And follow God. What will you do? Yes, I know you are brilliant. You are a professional. You are a doctor. You are a lawyer. You are an engineer. But I want you to know. There is a particular backup you need on earth. Without getting closer to God. You are a pastor. Whosoever you are. You may please man. And men will tell you thank you. Men will only award you. But the reward is not from God. It's not from man. It's from God. I want us to sing the last verse. I have no children. It's not part of what I'm talking about. I have no house or accommodation. It's not what I'm talking about. You know where you are coming from. You that you are committing adultery to for nine, you know. Fornicators, you know. You know how you are cheating your spouse, how you are lying to the one that wants to marry you. You know that your heart is not pure. You know as a pastor, you are not preaching the right word of God. You understand the sin you are committing as a pastor. You only prophesy heresies and you know that your prophecy is not from the Lord. I don't know where you are. You may look so beautiful, but your heart is dirty. What God is from you today? It's how to get closer. It is not how far you are closer to pastor, you are closer to church, or the church that you end, or the church you attend is what is important. What important is the kingdom, not the church. The church is broken down, but the kingdom can never divide against himself. I want you to understand 
The voice of church is not longer one. They have divided. But here it is. You have only one chance to choose. Which one do you want to choose? Am I closer to God or I'm closer to Pastor Adeleke? Or the pastor you know that you call your pastor? Am I closer to God Almighty or I'm closer to whosoever that I think I'm closer to? You are going to sing that song from your heart. When you were singing it, there was tears from my inside. I said, God, how can I get closer to you? You might make all things comfortable for you. But listen to me. If you lose it all, that is the end. You have one chance. If they ask you, one chance you have is to choose between life and death. What will you choose? You choose life. You want to see hard problem to the problem you have had to life before. This is the reason. A lot of us want to have the mind of I want to get riches, I want to get money, I want to get this, but not I want to have Jesus. Listen to this ladies and gentlemen. A life without Christ is in crisis. Take this and get this right. Hear me beloved. You need to get closer to God. Your heart might be closer to God in church, but when you leave the church, what is your mind saying to you? I want you to answer this question. You, that married woman, because your husband is not giving you money, are you not stealing from him? Are you not a liar, a pastor, that you lie? Have you not gone out of the will of God? You are out of the original purpose of your calling. Hey, listen to this. I'm going to stand before God. I cannot defend my children on a judgment day. You have no right to defend your wife. I cannot defend my wife. The kingdom of God is per head. So I want you to renew your covenant with him today. I don't care the cloth you put on. It's beautiful. Looks so good on you. That is very good. That is your philosophy. The philo and philosophy about you is what you are putting on about yourself. I don't want to care about what you wear on your face. But one thing I'm all about today is your heart. Do you hear me very well? You put on trousers does not count. Do you hear me very well? You do bread does not count. Do you hear me very well? This is a natural thing for the fact you are not going out of your house and you are telling people, hey, I will then go take today, then go take. If you are leaving your house as you dress up and you are saying, then go take. Who will take? You are actually committing fraud, spiritual fraud. The way you look, looks so radiant. But what is the state of your mind? What is the state of your whole heart? What is the standard of your heart? I want us to sing this last verse. We need to be closer. But the choir singing, the media taking, the people playing, and the people watching, and the people watching for all, they watching for online. Everyone worshiping online. Please, I want you to connect to this. All you need is to be closer. You have lost your job. You are out of the original place. I want you to know, God can fix it when you are closer. Life is as if it's not giving you the best. It can fix it. You need children, it can fix it. All you need is to be closer. When you get closer to me, I might disappoint you because I have limitation. Do you hear me very well? You might say, Pastor Adeleke will do it. It might be that time that I have no right to do it. I might be weak in nature. But here it is. The one we are talking about, he never sleep nor slumber. Do not put your trust in a man that have the flesh. The Bible says, Woe unto man that puts his trust on the man that lives in the arm of the flesh. You have to put your trust in God that is a spirit. Or the one that communicates in the realm of the spirit. I am not an imposter. I have to take you to the realm of the spirit that God wants you to get to today. So you are going to sing that song from your heart. And say, Lord, I want to be closer. I want the deep. You might open your eyes. But be, be in, in depth of the world. Let your heart be deep to him this morning. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.